السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته يا سيدي. وعليكم السلام ورحمة الله. What can someone do if they feel like they are dropping in everything when don't know the reason? Your salawat and muraqaba. You're dropping in everything because shaitan is attacking you. We keep telling you there's an immense fire of which you are seeing. If you watch the news, you see the fire, you see bombarding everywhere, you see bombs exploding. Financial warfare has already begun all over the world. Everyone's negating their currencies, setting viruses. If you don't see that, imagine the unseen of it is a billion times more. So you should watch the news that everything now is at war. So of course insan is at war, shaitan is at war with every single insan, human being. So did you think it was going to be easy? No. So you have to sit, make time for your salawats, sit, make time for your meditation, tafakkur and make your connection that, Ya Rabbi please send the light into my heart. And that from my rizq and sustenance I give in the way to make my, my strength and my faith because it washes away sins. I'm strong supporter, I do my meditation, I turn the zikr on loud, I do the nasheeds from these uh, events loud into my home and I make my connection and that's our fight. That is the greatest jihad is to fight with oneself against the shaitans that are coming. But if you thought, oh I'm just going to sit there, my heart's going to open, I'm going to feel like the flowers are falling on me from paradise, then what happened to shaitan? He thought he's on vacation? It doesn't take a vacation, means that it's a full-on fledged battle. From tonight you can understand the, the, they're breaking into the homes of people. So the shaitans have already come in and uh, just decimating people's lives. So if people are not going to conduct themselves according to heavenly standards, well then Hezbu shaitan has entered into the home, the woman takes the position of shaitan and falls apart. The man takes the position of shaitan and falls apart. But if they want the shield of Islam and the protection of Allah it's with the protection of Prophet So if you read you'd be astonished, we don't like to say because it's a, it's a wide audience. The Prophet described so many characteristics that were so displeasing to him to Allah So when imagine that if Prophet is displeased with the character of people within a home. As Salaamu Alaikum Warahmatullahi Wabarakatuh This is Shaykh Nurjan, thank you for watching the video that you're watching. InshaAllah if you're happy with the content and happy with these programs please support the button below the programs that we have for our orphanage repairs, our water well, give the gift of life, our mobile food vans. We have now five vans, Vancouver, Chicago, Los Angeles, Pakistan. There's many programs that reach thousands of people and rescue foods and give those supplies to people in need. Your support is greatly appreciated. Also, be so kind as to leave uh, loving comments and please share the stream, every bit counts. As Salaamu Alaikum Warahmatullahi Wabarakatuh That means that the portal doesn't open there and that that shield drops and shaitans begin to attack and that's when everything becomes very bad, very bad. So the, our defense in Islam are these good characteristics because then when Allah's happy, Prophet is happy, Allah's happy, then there's a shield because they're both happy. That everyone's trying to conduct themselves with this perfected character, with good character at least. But when the house is, is, is combative and everyone is conducting themselves in inappropriate characteristics, well you can imagine like an umbrella it just closed. It's no longer shielding and then you see difficulties, azab, you see all sorts of you know difficult events in homes. And uh, you see the whole world is like that now, the world is under bombardment whether it's physical or financial. They're in financial wars with each other, physical wars with each other and we're now just hoping to be shielded and protected from these azab and these difficulties. But that first starts at home, so Allah says, I don't change the condition of a people, means this worldwide condition is no way going to change until 
they change what's within themselves. So it means in myself, in my home if I don't change then the outside condition of difficulty will not change and I will be destroyed by the outside difficulty. InshaAllah <clears throat> Allah protect us and give us good character. Uh, as salaamu alaykum Sayyidi Walaykum as How are we able to implement the prophetic expectations of a woman in her house if the husband isn't the imam of the house? Please forgive the question. Yeah, the Prophet is the imam of the house. If there is no husband then Prophet is the imam. Means then the woman perfects her character and her adab and her way. And then Prophet is the Imam whom is the safeguard of all souls and Abu Arwa, the father of all souls. So that becomes the responsibility for Prophet and awliyaullah to watch over those whom are of a weaker nature. But if the Imam of the house is in a bad condition then there's nothing you can do, you're under the oppression of that bad condition. <clears throat> As Salaamu Alaykum Sayyidi Walaykum As Salaam wa uh, Sayyidi, if someone is with parents' household a little older in life and feel like the house is a fire but wants to be there and everyone to be to good together, is staying the better thing to do? If it's like a fire? If you can withstand the fire without losing your own faith then alhamdulillah. If the fire burns you and changes you to become fiery you are in danger of your own faith. So if you're worried about your eternal soul everyone has to judge at that level their soul, that I have a grave <coughs> and am I going to have my end good for my eternal journey. So if I'm staying in a place that is ruining my condition and making my condition to change then you have to judge that. So there are people whom have an environment that's very fun but it's destroying their condition. So oh, they have friends, everything's great but their condition is getting worse and worse. So that that time they have to judge, is this better for your grave or worse for the grave? So everyone has to understand their own condition. But the main thing is the character, if it changes your character and you become angry, you become fiery, you become cursing, yelling, all these bad characteristics you are in danger and shaitan comes and will flip the faith of that person because shaitan now is, is able to uh, advance towards them. So when things are, are falling apart it's because people are not adhering to good characteristics. The man is, a, is needs a respect and must be respected. And that's why the condition of the man is conditioned like an imam. If you disrespect the imam or you disrespect the amir, Prophet described when there's three of you, you elect an amir. And whatever the amir says you have to adhere to it. And that's why then you hope that the amir is guiding in an Islamic fashion. So it means that all of these of Islamic jurisprudence is extremely important to adhere to in the home because if they adhere to Islamic understanding and, and these tariqah and Sufi teachings it, it brings a tr peace and tranquility to the home so that it's not a continuous anarchy, it's not continuous chaos and screaming and yelling, those are not allowed. And as a result of those people will run from fires. So it wasn't Islam that broke it, it was the bad characteristics of the people that broke things. InshaAllah.
Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. This is Shaykh Narjan, thank you for watching the video that you're watching. InshaAllah if you're happy with the content and happy with these programs, please support the button below the programs that we have for our orphanage repairs, our water well, give the gift of life, our mobile food vans. We have now five vans, Vancouver, Chicago, Los Angeles, Pakistan. There's many programs that reach thousands of people and rescue foods and give those supplies to people in need. Your support is greatly appreciated. Also, be so kind as to leave uh, loving comments and please share the stream. Every bit counts. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.